by default, the video clips that you work with has a certain color. And if you want to work around with color correction, then what you can do is you can apply filters to it, which you can access out by clicking on a video clip where you want to apply the color correction to, and then by clicking on filters right here. So you can go around over here on to uh, the view section and click on filters to access this out as well. So you can go around now and press the plus button and here you can access out different things for a color correction. So let me just go around onto the favorite option right here. And here in favorite, you can see that there's brightness, color grading and contrast. And if you don't find this here, you can also go around and type in color. And here you can see you got different color related uh, filters that you can apply. So let me just go around over here and then start off with brightness. So brightness is an effect and you can see that I can apply presets over here as well, but there's no preset whatsoever. I can go around increase and decrease the level and you can see the video clip actually changes accordingly right here. You can go around and keep on adding more filters now. So you can clip, um, click on add filter, click on contrast. And then now you can select out contrast and increase and decrease out the contrast level for the video clip over here as well, as you can see. So it just uh, stutters a bit, which is normal right here. So at the end, you don't see any um, anything. Uh, it just plays normally, as you can see right here. So the effect has been applied and you can uncheck this to see the before and check this out to see the after, as you can see right here. So now I'm going to go around, press the plus button, and here you can see color grading is an option as well. So uh, you can see that I accidentally added in contrast. So I can just go around, press the, uh, let's say for example, I'm going to go around and then press the minus key right here to remove that effect out. I'm going to go around, press the plus button right here, and then uh, add in color grading. And what's, what this does is you can go around and select out, um, let's say for example, uh, some color for the shadows. So only the dark areas are being affected as you can see right here as I move this. So let's say for uh, the dark areas, I'm going to go for blue right here. You can go for the mid tones over here as well. So something around the medium, you can go around, select out a color as you wish right here. And then for the highlights, that is the bright areas, you can go around, select out a color. So let me just go around and select out, let's say for example, something like uh uh, a bit of green right here just like this and for the shadows i'm going to go more blue just like this right here so over here you can go around press the plus button add in more effects as you wish uh, over here so i'm going to go around and let's say for this one i'm going to add in a glow right here so let me just go around add in a glow over here as well so for the glow i'm going to decrease out the blur so uh, to have a more cinematic look right here so you can go around onto the defaults, increase and decrease the glow over here as well. But I just don't uh, seem to want this. I'm just going to go around and then um, delete this out. I'm just going to go around and add in, let's say, a brightness filter right here and increase out the brightness once more. So you can see the color cor uh, correction is taking into place. So I can go around and then uh, you can disable all of these uh, to see how it would look without the color correction and as i applied everything now it looks like this as you can see right here the video has um like been color corrected into something uh, completely different as you can see right there so that is how you can work around with color correction inside of um shortcut so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe